Hey guys, it's meteorologist Chris Tomer. Let's talk some mountain weather in this afternoon update. Hey, we've got a panhandle hooker storm system on our hands coming out of the four corners. Drop some really big totals in Utah, and we're going to see that in Colorado, parts of New Mexico, as it hooks. The pattern will hook up towards the panhandle of Texas. I'll show you that coming up. We're also going to look down the road at the late January, early February pattern as well here. I've got that loaded into my show. All right, let me take you to... Um, let me take you to the uh, the infrared, the visible satellite here, as it goes from infrared to visible. Um, and let me show you what we're dealing with. So we still have this little leftover component. Well, let's use a different color than that. Let's use gold. So the jet, the southern branch is active, helping to kind of feed this. And the northern branch is also active. And it's dipping. And the two are merging over the desert southwest, right where we have our panhandle hooker storm system, right here. So it gets the name from this track. It's going to come out of Albuquerque and then hook up through the panhandle of Texas and Oklahoma. And as it does, it will throw all that moisture back over the top of Colorado. So not only is it going to snow in the mountains of Colorado, but also in Denver and across the Front Range and over the Eastern Plains. There's a low here and a low here. But by the time the, pr the primary low moves away, let me just get a different color here, there's some ridging that's going to take place in this general area with a high pressure that's going to start to build in. So these lows are going to start to go up and over the top and then spill down on a northwest flow. That happens down the road. And I'll show you that in the update. Uh, but here's my blog, ChrisTomer.com. Just published this. Um, really appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed to do so, all you have to do is go to the end of the blog to put in your email address and hit subscribe, and you'll get a confirmation as soon as you do. So a lot of interesting snow total type stuff on here. I put together a season to date map where Alta, Brighton are right there at the top, 422, 423, somewhere right in there, 421. Um, Snowbirds at 395, Mammoth is 378, Kirkwood's up there, Palisades, Tahoe. Interesting to see Park City and Jackson Hole so close. Um, Steamboats at 244, Wolf Creek 203. I bet you Silverton somewhere in there as well. Silverton Mountain. And then most of the other resorts in Colorado are below or sub 200. Take a look at that if you get a chance. Um, but incredible numbers out of Alto. They're rolling in the deep, as they're saying there. Um, so the forecast pattern. Let me show you this full. Um, so this is 126. You can clearly see the high pressure ridging on the Pacific, in the Pacific Northwest and across the West Coast. Everything's going up and over, spilling down through Montana, Wyoming nicking parts of Utah, Colorado. But then by the end of the month, let me take you back. By the end of the month, February 1, late January, February 1, look at the pattern. The high pressure retrogrades to the west, allows a deep trough to start to build or lower atmospheric pressure anomalies across the west. So that would anchor that storm track in that area, favoring the west, if this happens, for cold and snow. And again, that's late January, early February, We'll see if this happens. It's a possibility, according to the EPS. All right, let's go into some timing here. So here's Wednesday morning at 6. Or Wednesday morning at 6. There's Thursday morning at 6. Friday morning at 6. And there's Saturday morning at 6 as well. Um, here's Sunday morning at 6. And here comes Sunday at 10 p.m. Let me do that one more time. So here comes the big low sliding through Colorado and out. Another little ripple in the atmosphere sneaks through. There's Friday morning at 6, and that dives south, which is interesting. Um, but then everything else comes out of the Pacific Northwest and then sliding down through the northern tier with that northwest-oriented jet um, through 122. And that's going to be the case through 126 as well with that northwest orientation. And then by the end of the month, early February, as I was saying, everything's going to kind of shift to the west and become stormy across the west with potentially some lower atmospheric pressure anomalies. All right, let's go to forecast totals here. Let me show you what I'm thinking. So this is 117 through 119. Obviously big numbers in Colorado, about a foot through the San Juans over Wolf Creek, 5 to 8 um, in uh, northern New Mexico. I'm looking at about 5 to 10 across Eldora to Winter Park to Loveland to Breck and Summit County. Um, another 6 up in the Wasatch potentially. Um, so that's 117 through 119. Here's the second period, 120 through 126. You can clearly see the northwest orientation with the storm track. All the big totals, Pacific Northwest, BC, northern tier states, Tetons, 
nicking the Wasatch and then dumping down into the central and northern mountains of Colorado. That's where you're going to see the big totals, uh, 120 through 126. And then, of course, beyond this, the pattern may shift and allow some of that snow to kind of move west back in towards uh, uh, Oregon and California. We'll see. All right, up into, oh, I've got one specialty map. Colorado, grand totals, 117 through 126, 1 to 2 feet, as you can see here, over I-70, the Continental Divide, Summit County, running all the way back towards Steamboat and Buffalo Pass. Again, a grand total map, 117 through 126. All right, into the northeast, two different storm systems will lay down these types of numbers, roughly uh, a foot of snow here for most places in Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine. There could be a larger storm. The second storm system later in the period uh, is trending a little bit stronger, so we'll have to see if we need to adjust these numbers up. Um, but that's the way it looks in the northeast to me for right now. All right, guys, thank you for tuning in here. Always appreciate it. We still have some great snow to go over the next 5, 7, 10 days. Take care.